Hi, I'm Denise. I am a designer here at FinFun, and I did the artwork for the Aurelia Tale. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm the production lead here at FinFun, and I did the technical design for the Aurelia Tale. So the trailer drop that didn't show us very much, we saw that the fluke shape was kind of similar to Calypso. And it was always from the beginning, we're gonna make an elite tail because it's gonna be big and beautiful and closer to whatever shape that she's gonna have in the movie. Yeah. Oh, I, you can totally see she's got two dorsal fins. Mm -hmm. And I think we also agreed that her tail looks like an X-wing butterfly, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call it <laughs> internally. I mean, they own Star Wars, so it's like, whatever. Yeah. We were really trying to guess of this shape, though, because it was really hard to see where she's flying up there. Like, it looks like an X pattern, like an X wing. But they splay out like that. So we knew that there was something in the front. We didn't have much to work on. Honestly, we were really grasping at straws there. This is like the most difficult <laughs> tail I think we've ever done. Tail. It's definitely yeah. the most challenging design process. Mm -hmm. We've never had to kind of go back to the drawing board as many times as we did with this one. Yeah. Redesigning the template, re and we're using a new material, completely new material that we have to test, make sure that it's holding up in the water. It's not gonna like fray or anything like that. So there were a lot of challenges. So it's good that we had so much time. <laughs> yes. We still took all of it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we were scrambling in many respects. I guess I just figured we can totally do this. <laughs> we can love, make this work. I love it. Huh? Yeah, the poster was so awesome. Found out what we got wrong, <laughs> I guess. So we pretty much knew where this dorsal was because that was pretty clear in the trailer. But it's still kind of unclear. Actually, you can kind of see like these mesh winds here. I was happy to see that she was green and that they were keeping to that aerial teal. I really do like that hint of purple at the ankle. Yeah, it makes sense because I remember being a kid and being like, Ariel, what are you doing? You got a purple clamshell top and you have a green tail. Like, who does that? So <laughs> them working purple in. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's like Ariel. Absolutely. Sense. Well, I think it definitely confirmed for me that power mesh was the right way to go. I think there's no possible way that we could get that look with any other material in reality. Mm -hmm. And I just was gratified that she looked so flowy and that she had two dorsal fins that were clearly visible in the poster. Made me feel like we were in the right direction. Yeah. And it's translucent too, so the mesh was is going to work in that factor as well. When we saw the aerial had a more leaning towards a more traditional shape, we really just wanted to expand on the calypso. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> looks just like it. <laughs> looks just like it. The lines are similar too, so we can even start with like the same artwork and work from there. So Calypso kind of looks like this. And then we change the shape to be more like this. Right there. So we can kind of see that it's attached up here. So that it goes to this little hip fins and then it goes like this, curves out here, and then it goes like something like that. The shorter dorsal fins here. We realized pretty quickly that with the way the mesh sits in the tail, we realized it just hung down and it looks kind of like a trash bag, a plastic trash bag in the water. And Ariel is not a trash bag. We had to start over. We tried first putting some vinyl mesh, some vinyl on the mesh to see if we could stiffen the mesh and help it have a little bit more structure in the water. It still didn't work. It still looked too much like a trash bag. Oh, the garbage main, bag. The garbage <laughs> bag effect is what we're calling it apparently. Yeah. So 
There is no structure to this. If you want wispy, you can't have structure at the same time unless you use CG. Gravity is our worst enemy. <laughs> we are not suspended in water, so getting that flowy, but also living being pieces <laughs> from mesh is really challenging. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things that we've really had to work with to get it to look right. And redesign because it just didn't look right when it was down the center where Ariel's tail actually does have that mesh. When we trialed some of our Atlantis tails, we put the mesh in the side fin and we realized how great that looked. And we wanted to do that somehow with our elites but we've always had the zipper in our side fin, so we weren't sure how we were going to make that work. So we realized that we needed to move our side seams. We moved the zipper down to the bottom, and we basically pulled the side seams from the side at the hip all the way to the back so that the mesh can come from the back, right where Ariel's dorsals are, all the way down and it curves around into the side seam so that it stays open and flows really prettily in the water. I think based on this video is very clear that it was like an iridescent. So primarily green but with like a purple shift to it. That's what I thought. But in the final design it looks like it's actually green on the top and then like a weird pinky color, like a pinky color but cool. when she's like moving around, you can kind of see the color shifts a little bit. So um, I went to school for 3D modeling and animation. So it was kind of fun to jump back into it and use something like that because it just looks like so much more dimensional. So I try to do different techniques in Blender. This one it looks really similar to the way it does in the trailer, but the scales are just looking super wonky. I couldn't fix it. I couldn't get it right. Like it had like this weird shape it's wider here and then it gets thinner here so i use something called an array which essentially just takes the same little tic-tac shape and repeats it across this um this shape so the way that i went about it is i used bump maps which essentially just take like the artwork to figure out the high points and low points of the mesh and then it looked more like scales this way. Trying to light it in a way that it's going to look good two-dimensionally because in the 3D program, you can kind of move it around and it looks awesome because you can kind of see the detail in the program. But when you print it, it's only gonna have, this is the color that's gonna be in this exact spot. It doesn't have any dimensionality to it. <laughs> yeah, I printed all of our test tails and Denise makes a file for us. And then I print out on, out on our big industrial printing machine. And then we go and sublimate, which is basically just pressing the, the printed paper onto the fabric and then it goes through a big hot roller and then we have our tail. And then I got to model all of our test tails and test them out in the pool. That was probably the hardest thing I had to do because those tails are heavy and I'm not exactly a pro swimmer, but that was really fun to test out all our new ideas, so. <laughs> The hardest part was trying to figure out how wide we wanted to make them. And so first we started with a really skinny piece and then we went with really wide pieces. So then we had to find our kind of middle ground. This one is just straight mesh and we realized it didn't really look alive in the water. So we decided to add some gathers to it. So we gathered the mesh and we were still trying to figure out how many layers and what we were going to do design-wise for our mesh. And that's when we came to our three layers of mesh with our foil on either side so we get that beautiful aerial shimmer in the water. And the purple really helps enhance that glimmer shimmer effect in the water. So. I was a lot of back and forth and not n necessarily like a linear path. It was kind of like, oh, okay, progress, and then rah, 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 all the way back. But that was kind of independent of this. Uh, the coloring here still isn't the final coloring. It's a little bit more vibrant in the final print. You have like this cool scallop pattern on the Elite versions, but yeah, the ruching makes it look a lot more organic. I think we absolutely nailed it. I love the way it looks. I think it's a great homage to Ariel and her tail in the movie. I think we're really going to see a lot of people feel the same way. 
So I think this is not the literal interpretation, but like the best way we could possibly present it. Absolutely. Using like our materials and the way the mesh flows in, in the water looks the best when it's in the side seam on the fluke. So I think this is the best possible way that we could have done this tail. I, my first thought was absolutely, of course, we are going to recreate Ariel's tail because that's why we do what we do. We're all mermaids here, so we love to see Ariel's tail come to life.